Today we're going to be talking about the 15X strut pump from Bogart Aviation. It is a pump for uh, boosting air or nitrogen for various high pressure applications like servicing uh, landing gear struts, propeller feathering systems, and hydraulic accumulators. On this 15X strut pump you do not want to use it for any oxygen systems or using oxygen to operate this thing because there is oil, some oil in the system and when you mix oxygen and oil and combustion it can create an explosion and you definitely don't want that. When you first start using the 15X strut pump every time you want to put a lube in the inlet um, and you want to use whatever kind of lube that um, you're using for the application that you're working on um, rather it's struts or whatever that you're working on you want to use the light fluid so the 15x works with the inlet air goes in here and it puts in however much air is coming through your hose so I'm running about 120 psi so it puts this in here and fills this up as I cycle this, it moves this piston on the inside. It uses that 120 PSI and pushes this up, which compresses the air on this end, the high pressure side, and it comes out here and goes into the hose and starts pumping up whatever you're pumping. So as I cycle this slide valve back and forth, this piston should be going back and forth. And you can definitely hear it when it's going back and forth. If you haven't used it for some time and you hook it up and start cycling this but you don't hear anything, most likely the piston's stuck in the up position. So what you want to do to free that is get an air nozzle on your shop air and this port right here, this little hole, you just stick the nozzle there and give it a little shot of air. And a lot of times that will free the piston and it'll come back down. Sometimes if they're really stuck, you need to try to get a small enough object but long enough to fit in that hole. And you can give it a push and it'll free it up. But first you want to try this so you don't have to stick anything in there. You want to double check in the gooseneck fitting. There's a little seal in there. A lot of times those will get dry and crack and then when you actually thread it onto your strut it won't make a seal so it'll continue to leak. Sometimes when it's on the strut and you go to back it off this will unthread from this brass and then that little gasket goes. You lose it, what have you, put it back together and then it won't seal again. So you need to make sure that's in there because that's what makes the seal on the Schrader valve. Another thing that can cause um, these things not to build pressure or bleed off faster is the check valves will get something in them. And so there's a few different things you can do to make sure these are clear and blow these out. You leave this unconnected from your strut and you just plug in your inlet just for a minute. It should blow all the way through and out this, which you can hear. That's telling me that it everything's clear and that just cleared whatever would be in the check valves out. Another thing is you can disassemble this and take the check valves out. So this is how you test a check valve um, to determine if it's leaking or not. There's arrows on the check valve. That's showing you the direction of flow. So if you push, put the air nozzle up and push it, you should have air blow through. If you flip it around so the arrow's facing the gun, that means it should be holding air. It's not leaking past. So here I have a gauge that I threaded on the gooseneck fitting to. And I'm going to test this pump so you can see and hear what it's supposed to sound like. We're all hooked up. You should have no leaks if you hear any hissing noise you definitely want to go over it with some soapy water squirt on the different joints and see if you can find the leak then you start cycling this back and forth you can hear it 
every time I push this frontwards, this piston's going up and back. You can hear it. As you can see on the gauge, as it's going, the pressure's right. This is what your pump should sound like if it's working properly. If your pump sounds like this, but isn't building pressure, then most likely you have a leaky check valve where it's bleeding past.